Hey, what's going on my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to answer a question. This is from one of my fans named Sid the Kid. He said, can you talk about going back to work or integrating work after a spiritual awakening? It's very confusing. So this can be a bit of a shock to the system. What happens with a lot of people is they go through a spiritual awakening you can probably relate to this and everything changes and everything sort of shifts around and it's very common to be put into a place where you have some alone time. A lot of people somehow or another find themselves out of work, find themselves not going out with their friends as much, find themselves maybe moving to a quieter location in life somehow and this is a, a crucial time where you're very sensitive, very cracked open maybe very symptomatic, right? You're probably learning a lot about spirituality. Maybe you're changing your diet, learning to meditate, learning to tune in, going through a lot of emotional clearing. But eventually, you gotta go out there and be back in the world. Just like Joseph Campbell, he talks about the hero's journey. He talks about this whole you know, uh, journey of transformation, right? A total transcendence of the old self. But eventually, the hero, you, the, the seeker, there's the call to return. There's the call, there's a, there's a oh wow. This is where the journey takes a major, uh, you know, a, a big uh, 180. I've been going so far one way for so long, but now it's time to come back and be in the world. But after being on a journey for so long, somewhat by yourself, for a lot of us, the idea of going back for one, is extremely unappealing. I don't want to go back. Ugh. Low vibe, 3D people, you know. You don't want to go back for that. You also don't want to go back because it might seem going back to work. When there's a mass awakening taking place, it might seem like mundane. It might seem very surface level, unfulfilling. I know I'm here for more. And also, uh, a big part of it is you're very, you're like more empathic, you're more sensitive. And you might just feel like, you know, like you've been in this dark cave for a long time and your soul is calling you to step out into the sunlight. It's going to be blinding. How are you going to handle that? So for all these reasons, it can present a multifaceted series of challenges to the seeker who knows it's time to go back. And, and like you said, said the kid, integrate. So this exact same thing happened to me I had my spiritual awakening. I started, you know, <laughs> went through all what you all went through without getting into all the details. But my family and I, we, we sort of jetted town. We, we bounced. We moved down to Florida. For about a year and a half, I lived all by myself with my family. But we had like no friends, no family. And I wasn't working. I was meditating, I was, I was sun gazing, I was raw vegan, I was lucid dreaming every freaking night, and I was really, really uh, pressing my, the boundaries spiritually and growing a lot and coming into just a profound, these life-changing insights one after the other. And I thought my life was going to continue in this fashion, but I found for one, I had to go out there and make some money. <laughs> we were running out of money. I thought the universe would just provide it for me. It didn't work that way for me. Um, and I also was surprised because I also had like an organic, genuine excitement to go back. The same sort of calling to leave was now pointing in the opposite direction. So I was like, oh, I wish I wasn't feeling like this is the best move to do. I don't want to do it for all the reasons I discussed. And when I went back, it was challenging. I, I really had to... Uh, to accept that my life wasn't going to be, you know, floating around like a bird th through the sky. That I had to maybe go back and get a job and start working. And that job might take my energy. That job might not be an exact manifestation of my highest potential, which at that point was to sit alone and read spiritual books, okay? Um, and, and it was a real a shock to my system. I started eating heavier foods and sort of adjusting my lifestyle. And at first, I, I, I resented it. I didn't like the fact that I had to do this. And I can see now that was the large, that was like the culprit for my 
challenging, one of the challenges was more of my own inner resistance to what life was asking me to do. And once I gave in and said, okay, this is how it's gonna be, I started to see this same mundane, you know, 3D, low vibe life that I felt lured back into from a completely different vantage point. I stopped looking at the darkness and stopped looking at the things that I didn't like and started looking a bit deeper. Just the people I was around, the, the different tasks I was doing. I began to glean and experience more, a greater depth of the joy. I realized, and for me, the way it looked exactly was I went back and got a personal training job. I was working as a personal trainer, something I thought I would not have to do again because I wanted to be like a spiritual teacher. And then I, I, as I was with all these clients that actually I knew from the past, I realized that, you know what? These people are like part of my soul family. It was very weird. And that being with them, even if I was doing something that wasn't extremely exciting to me, there was like, it was like, man, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And they were helping reflect things to me. I was helping them. And I started to be able to support myself financially. And life really became quite pleasant in the mundane. And the main thing, as I said, was letting go and allowing my life to shift gears. And the, the integration was basically a, a matter of letting go of my own resistance to the circumstance. And then guess what happened? And then all, life shook me up again and shot me out to go pursue YouTube and do my purpose and all that kind of stuff. But what a good friend of mine, uh, Stephen Jaggers, in fact, you may have seen him on the channel recently, he says, hindsight's always 2020. A lot of times, if we really follow our intuition, wherever it may lead, it seems like this isn't right. This must be a mistake. I must not be, pers uh, you know, interpreting these downloads accurately. This can't be. I don't see why this is happening. But as you look back, you see the thread of absolute divine perfection in every single moment of your life. Every single moment there is an opportunity for growth, healing, expansion, as mundane and 3D as it might seem. You see how your path going along those lines helped and impacted and affected others. You see how that one conversation you had five years ago was like a pivotal point for you and them. You see, it's like if you just keep trusting the path, knowing it's always perfect, then you can settle in and enjoy the journey. And I'll give one last example before I go. Sort of an offshoot. At a slightly different circumstance in my life, I was being called out of like the integration phase and the, the work. I was being called back out. And I had a lot of mundane 3D tasks to complete, me, including, you know, packing up my house, moving, that kind of stuff. No, that's no fun, right? And I found myself sitting in my kitchen knowing that I have so many different things to do, none of which I want to do. And I found my, my eyes kind of dropped down and I found myself looking at this drawer in my kitchen. Not just any drawer. This is what the family called and referred to as the miscellaneous drawer. The drawer where all the random stuff throughout the house gets piled in. And I said, you know what? Ugh, this freaking drawer I gotta go through. If I wanna get to where I wanna go, it's gonna take me probably two hours. And I said, you know what? Screw it. I turned on, I hit, I hit the power button on my Keurig, popped in an organic decaf Keurig K-cup. I got my radio, started listening to some Guns N' Roses or something, something cool. I said, okay, I'm gonna dig into this. And I had a blast, a ball, combing through this freaking miscellaneous drawer because I dropped my resistance and I embraced embraced what was in front of me. It's only our mind that pinches us off from the joy inherent in every single moment. So maybe you were in the free-flowing phase of, you know, watching energy updates and expanding and whatever, 
and now you gotta go get a job. You gotta make some money, you gotta do your taxes, Ugh, cut the grass, whatever. It's only your perception that you shouldn't be doing that that creates the need for integration. If you say, okay, this is what's next. There must be a reason for it. Let's find the awesomeness. Oh, that's a, this is cool. Ah, this person's not so bad. Ooh, I really enjoy driving to work. It's time to like, time to cool into myself. You can find the bliss in anything, okay? And, and as you go back into this, you're going to learn that. It's, it's, it's one thing to, to say it. But when it comes time to really learning those lessons, none of us want to initially. But if you allow yourself, then you'll actually learn to do that. You'll actually learn how to be happier, more in flow, more relaxed, more at peace in every single moment, regardless of what you're doing. So my words of advice to you, Sid the Kid, is embrace the change and find the magic in the mundane. Before you go, my friends, I have a gift for you. It's a free guided meditation that helps clear and cleanse your energy after a long day. It's like an energy healing meditation that'd be perfect for if you're in that circumstance where you kind of are in a certain situation where you have to go back to work and you inevitably come back feeling kind of drained, whether it be from people or whatever. This meditation you can pop on, listen to, and it's for empathic people going through an awakening and it will help you cleanse your energy so you're not accumulating the stress of your life. It'll give you more energy, it'll give you more clarity, it'll just give you a sense of well-being after something like going to work. So it's free if you want to check it out. I made it myself. Hope it helps you, my friend. Have an amazing day. Peace.